Good afternoon, Shaggy Turf here. Um, we're here at the church. It is October the 12th. Um, it's been raining a lot. And then we had a cold snap come through. And we actually had a, a deep freeze last night. Um, so we're out here, we're, getting, we're mowing this. This might be this might be one of the last times we mow. We're not sure because it's it is pretty freaking cold, and uh, some parts of Iowa have actually gotten snow. Um, you know, it's, tis the season, so we don't know. This might be one of the last times that we mow this. We'll have to wait and see. Um, but then again, you know, like right now it's like 50 some degrees. There's a good breeze going. It's pretty chilly. Um, you know, we put our stocking caps on. We are still wearing just sweatshirts, hooded sweatshirts, but it is a bit nippy with the wind. Uh, but then again, it, next next week it's supposed to warm back up back in the 60s. Um, so we'll have to wait and see. Um, we just have a couple days here where it's just going to be highs in the 50s, lows at night in the 30s. Um, we're going to knock this one down. This is the only one that we had on our agenda for today. It's a Saturday. We, like, we usually like to do this one on a Saturday. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to trim or not. It just depends. I want to see what all he gets done as far as mowing. Uh, I usually help him mow with this one, but unfortunately, my mower, the starter on it, uh, one of the, they have like a plastic gear on it, and um, the starter or the plastic gear on it. Uh, actually went out on us and it's really crazy because it's just this little like 50 cent piece size gear but it's it's plastic and eventually it goes against um, the other part the other gear and it just that just that little gear gets worn out and ours got worn out and we haven't been around haven't got around to changing it yet so he's solo on this one today um, like I said, I'm going to, I probably will, I wasn't going to trim, but I might trim. I don't know yet. I'm just, I'm kind of thinking that I maybe I should since this might be one of our last times out here. But then I kind of look around and there's really not, it doesn't really look too bad as far as trimming wise. Um, we did trim last time when we did this one. And sometimes we, for this one. We find that if we trim every other time, it's good enough. So, I'm just going to play it by ear. I'm just going to kind of wait and see where he he is and uh, as far as mowing and see if I need to, do, you know, see if there's anything that pops up or looks like it needs to be trimmed down. And if anything, if it's towards the end of the mowing, he could probably to grab his trimmer and help him knock some of that out so we can get out of here and go home and enjoy the rest of our day. Um, just picking up some sticks here. Uh, it's really windy, like I said. Hopefully it's not messing up this video too much. But, uh, yeah. So, but anyway, we got all this to do. I mean, I feel really bad because you know, this is probably going to take him by himself uh, probably a good hour, 45 minutes, an hour. He started on the ditch over there, but, I mean, it goes. I mean, you can see where he's at, baby, that sun. But anyway, he's got, I mean, all that, all of this, and normally, like I said, it goes all the way down there. It's quite a, it's a few, few, few acres of land here. Um, 
but yes so he's gonna get he's gonna mow and like I said I might trim um, see what happens and that wind that wind is a, it's, it is a little bit nippy um, of course the sun's going down too we we're gonna get out here earlier, but we had some issues at home that we had to take care of. So we got a little late start. That's okay though. We'll get it done. And then tomorrow when they come to church, it'll be all nice and mowed. And at our season, it looks like our season's gonna be winding down here. Uh, we're gonna have to be thinking about uh, leaves. Uh, New and leaves. Hopefully we have we have a few clients that want us to do their leaves. A lot of our clients don't care. <laughs> They're like, whatever, leaves. Just when you mow, mulch them up. But uh yeah. So we might have some leaf removal. The leaves are are uh, dropping slowly. Like we said, we had some freeze last night. Uh, what they called a hard freeze. It, it got, um, I think it was like 29, and then with the wind chill, it was in the lower 20s um, last night. There was definitely frost on the windshields and stuff. Um, we're going to, tomorrow, it's supposed to be a little bit warmer tomorrow. Um, we pulled all of our plugs on our camper and stuff. But we haven't got around to because we've been, been kind of busy um, with some home projects, working on our garage. I'll have to show you that later, what we did, what all that we did with our garage. Um, and working on some other things. And then uh, just some home stuff we did. But anyway, so we pulled the plugs and we got it, we got it all drained. But we're going to go and we're going to blow it and then winterize it makes me sad because we didn't get a chance to um, go back out camping again because of in between rainy days and working on the garage and the equipment and just catching up on um, household stuff and then catching up on mowing I mean it was literally it rained two days and then we would spend three days just mo 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 from the time we got up till dark out bringing you know protein bars and stuff like that along with us because we really didn't have time to stop anywhere and eat because we just had to go 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 because it was supposed to rain you know two days later again and then it would rain for two or three days and then we'd have to start the whole process over again but uh, so we just haven't had time to, to really go camping again which you know it's sad but you know it's always next year um so i guess our main go um tomorrow uh we're gonna finish finish our garage project cleaning it up uh we're gonna work on my mower and um we're gonna work on a couple other things and then um like i said winterizing our camper you gotta we're gonna blow out all the lines and dump the antifreeze in the drains and uh, stuff like that um, you never know we, we might if it, if it warms back up we might go camping for a few days maybe we kind of talked about it if it does warm back up a little bit uh, and there's not we just won't use the water we get, we'll just use the facilities there but I think the campgrounds are gonna be closing so I don't know how that's gonna play out because I think like last year uh, in October they closed the they closed all the campgrounds down so uh, you know and winterize them so you don't have showers and that kind of stuff so who I don't know we'll see what happens we can always bring our own water and then uh, usually where we camp we don't camp too far away um, it's like a half hour from our house so if we need to come home and take showers if their facilities weren't open we could always do that and then as far as cooking stuff I mean you just um, grill and use paper plates 
so you don't have to really run water or anything in the in the thing just bring bottled water but yeah we're like I said gonna work on this get this done and then uh, head home and make some supper I don't know exactly what we're gonna have uh, we'll probably make uh, we pulled some brats out so maybe make some brats and some veggies on the grill and then uh, we're gonna get this my mower off of the trailer because we couldn't get it off because it won't start so we're gonna have to get my mower off the trailer and pull it into the garage so we can start working on that um, other than that we don't have much going on and uh, so I just wanted to thank you guys and I hope you have a good rest of the, the, your day a good weekend and thank you for watching